Well, good morning. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera or not, but it's snowing very lightly out here on the Wooden Nickel Trail today to minus 10 C. And I see uh, down in Vancouver today, we're going to have a freedom rally with the plague denier crowd. Carrying signs like, you'll never make me wear a mask. You'll never make me socially distance. And, uh, you know, naturally, there's a lot of people quite upset about this. Um, that would be sane people are quite upset about this. And what I want to offer to the whole thing is don't be. And get out of their way, right? Like, you know, we, if we should find out how big of a venue they need, and we should offer them a good indoor venue. Winter's coming. They shouldn't be outside with all this protest stuff. You know, a venue that just fits their numbers, possibly one that the HVAC system is currently in maintenance on. This is Darwinism, people. Don't be offended by it. Build it into your lesson plans if you're homeschoolers. Keep track. It'll be easy. Nobody's asking anybody to be a eavesdropper or a peeping tom. This is all going to be in the papers going forward. It'll be easy to keep track of this. Most likely the names will show up in the paper will be relatives of the people involved in this. And you know, I suppose a lot of you think that's pretty sad, but that's how the whole Darwinism thing works. And, you know, at the risk of completely horrifying all the high EI people in the viewing audience, the plain simple truth is the weak and the stupid are supposed to die. So don't be upset by it. Right there. Let them rally. Facilitate it if you can. But don't, don't own that it's our responsibility to protect these idiots from themselves. Don't do that. It's not worth it. Just saying. Oh, and in other news, while we're worrying about nonsense like this in British Columbia, I hear on the international news in France, if you're a school teacher that dares to teach um, freedom of speech, y you could like literally be beheaded. Of course, that is France, and beheading people has been a somewhat of a tradition over there since the French Revolution. So. Anyway, signing off for today, just saying, don't worry about the plague deniers. Darwin will take care of them if you just get out of their way. Have a nice day.